Canva doesn't have a page numbers function as of now, but I'm going to show you an easy hack that you can use for free to add page numbers to your Canva documents in a couple of clicks. As I already mentioned, Canva doesn't have a tool to add page numbers automatically as of now. So we're going to use another platform to add them. This is completely free to use, so don't worry at all. And it's also pretty easy to follow. So first, let's go to Canva and open our documents. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use a template. I already went ahead and found this one right here. As you can see, I went to templates, searched for calendars, and I found this template right here. If you like this design, I left the link of this template in the description. As you can see here, this document has several pages. And what I love about this design is that we have different layouts in the different pages. We have a cover and then on the following page, Pages, we see an image on the left then the next page we have the image on the right and so on this is the perfect example so I can show you what we can do with this tool to add page numbers so I'm gonna click on customize this template and once you have your document ready everything looks perfect you are going to download it so let's go to share download and in here make sure to download your document as a PDF I'm going to hit download without changing anything in here. Once you have your document downloaded as a PDF file on your computer, you are going to go to this page right here. I love PDF.com. You're going to scroll down until you see this feature right here called page numbers. Click here. From here, you can either click on this button to access the files on your computer, or you can simply drop your PDF here. I'm going to click on this red button. So I'm clicking here and my PDF file is here. So I select Click the document, click open. Now on this page, you see a preview of your document and you also see some red dots on every single page. These red dots represent the position of the numbers that we are going to add, the page numbers. And then you have a section on the right side with settings for your page numbers. In here, you can select the page mode. You can either go for single page or facing pages. In this particular document, because we have the layout changing from one page to the other you can see here the image on the left and then the next page we see the image on the right this means that for this document i need to use the page mode facing pages pay attention because once i click on here the red dots are going to move so i'm going to click here and now you see that the red dots are positioned in the area where i want the page number to go in the area where i see the content and not the image and this happens on every single page then we have position from here you can select the placement of your page numbers so if you want the number to go in a different area of your page you can click here in this case if you want the page number to go over the image this will be the option or it could be this one and then you can just play around and see which position you like better i think i'm going to stay with this one right here then we have margin this one by default is set to recommended but you can also go for a small margin you see that the dot is very close to the edge of the design and then we have big this one means that we have more space in between the edges of the page and the number i'm gonna go for recommended then we have pages you can select the first number you will see on your design and because i want these page numbers to start on this page which is actually page number two i'm going to select the first number as two and then you can also decide which pages do you want to number from page one to page 13 or you can actually skip some of the pages in this case because i don't want to see the number on the cover i'm going to select from page two and then let me see the last page in this case because on the last page we see the image on the right i don't want to have the number here on top of this image i'm going to select 
to 12. Like this, I don't have the number on this last page. And you can also play around with the text that you are going to insert. In here, we have recommended insert only page number. This is the one that I'm going to use today. And then we have some other options in here. To be honest, I haven't tried these options right here, but I believe with this option, you will see the word page and then the number. On this other option, you will see page number of the total of pages so you will see another number in here and then you have the option to custom this section right here as i said i'm gonna use the recommended one and finally you can also change the text format you only have a couple of fonts to choose from you can also change the font size this one is set to 14 and you have some other options in here i'm gonna leave it as it is and then click add page numbers you just need to wait a couple of seconds this this one took one or two seconds in my case and I just need to save the document here on my computer. Now I have my two documents in here and this is the original document that I downloaded from Canva. As you can see we don't have any page numbers in here but then we have another document that says at the end page number and this is the one that I downloaded from I love PDF. And when I open this document you will see that we now have page numbers. If that's enough for you, you can use this document, but I'm going to show you how to bring it back to Canva. You can go to canva.com and from here you will see an option that says upload. You can either click here, but if you don't see this button, you can also go to this one that says create a design. So you can click here and you will see the upload button from here. I'm going to use this one. So I'm clicking and then I'm going to choose the file that I just downloaded from I love PDF. I'm double checking the document which is this one with the page numbers and I click open. Canva is importing my file so let me close this window. You can see here the loading bar. We're gonna wait until this document is fully uploaded. My document is ready so I'm gonna open it in the editor by clicking on this thumbnail and then clicking on any element on the design. And everything looks the same but we now have page numbers. As you can see here we have the page numbers. The only thing is that I do suggest you go through every single page and pay attention to details because doing this hack of downloading the design as a PDF and then uploading it back it may change the position of a couple of things like for example this text box right here is out of place so i need to remove it from here and then paste it back in this position change the color and that's it these numbers are now recognized as elements so the only change you can do is to change the color so you can see that this one now it's brown instead of black and i can do the same on the following numbers or you can also click on this button to change all and like this you have changed the color on all the page numbers remember that we have a canva pro free trial in the description but i'm also going to leave it here on the screen and i'm also going to leave here a playlist that you are going to love thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next tutorial bye